Look at this game. You can see me with my futuristic looking goggles. I feel like I'd have to pay some fancy Italian designer like $800 for these things, but really they were obviously made in Indonesia or something like that. Ha! Huh, look at that. I can summon spikes from the heavens. But unfortunately, these Xenos do not think I'm God, so they're gonna still attack. But essentially, we are under siege against an endless invasion. What does this one do? Oh! Oh, okay, that, that's like a Katusha artillery barrage from off camera. I do like that one a lot. But ultimately, the objective here is to evolve and get stronger. Now, unfortunately, I've only got $48. But the cool thing about this is it's a little bit like of an active tower defense. I get to control my little laser. There we go. Give me some spikes, please. This kind of reminds me of this old game where you had to defend against kaijus. What was that game called? And who's ever played this one? Oh my god. Okay, these little flying things, they shoot at me. They got lasers. Uh, that's a little bit terrifying. And by a little bit, I mean, what is going on here? What planet am I on where there's all of these little aliens? It kind of reminds me a little bit of Swarm Queen 2, but like more tower defense and less micro strategy Ooh. we neither evolve our hero his damage his attack speed or his bullet Why just his bullet like i thought he fired lasers why is it always zerglings you know like when when defending some space outpost in space <laughs> no redundancy there it's always the zerglings you know drop in in the spikes they're random i don't get to place them particle beam is as well in the artillery barrage how about you my base is taking a beating. Oh, I can kill their little green goosh balls. That, that sounds not like a weapon at all. Excuse me, sir, please stop spitting your goosh balls at me. The one thing I'm sensing right now is that we're poor. Being poor is not good when aliens are attacking your house and the poorer you are, the worse you can defend it. We went boosting attack speed. Oh yeah, our gun's firing a lot faster now. Okay, good. Because before, like, we could barely defend against this Baneling Rush. Yeah, a number of them hit our base. We're down to 144 out of 200 health. Not the best. Now, do we call in the Orbital Bombardment? Yeah, because look at how many there are. A lot! Another Spike Trap. Unfortunately, I don't get to pick where it is, so, you know, it's not ideally... Call in the Artillery! All right, now I got to do is intercept the Green Goosh Balls. <laughs> Worst name in the history of names. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, this is Houston here. What seems to be your problem? Bugs, sir. Bugs everywhere. Well, this time we went attack speed and damage. Weapon evolution does seem to be the key. And now I'm not so scared of these flyers. Well, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what happens when you call in all of your powers at once. They look like flying hydralisks. By this point, I normally would have been already dead, but I'm not. And I'm thinking damage seems to be the way to go. So we're level three damage. I want to like be able to switch out my tower and also get like some minions to defend like space Marines, right? We'd have space Marines if this was Starcraft inspired. Oh, we got a new baddie now. They look like little Zerglings that are faster because they run on two legs instead of what the four? that the other ones kind of crawl on. All right, I'm thinking it's artillery barrage time. This should help us soften things up. Now, being able to upgrade that could be incredible. We can upgrade it and we just got to get the money. Uh, This is insane. What difficulty is this on? It's like I'm coming in to play like a classic flash game and they're like, hey man, difficulty, all of it. So if it's inspired by StarCraft and it's this difficult, I wonder if the developer of it was just like, you know what, I'm sick of getting trounced on the ladder. I need someone to feel my pain. I am going to make a game just for people who don't play StarCraft to feel my pain. And I'm, sir, I'm feeling it and I, I don't like it. Uh, this is not consensual. Please, please stop. Make it stop. Make the aliens stop. Oh my God, make the aliens stop. I've learned their patterns though, I think. He says his, his base is almost dead. Oh my God, we're almost dead. We have seven hit points. No. Yes. Did we do it? Please tell me there's not another wave. Oh, no. Make it stop. Holy biscuits. We just got past that wave after like my 38th attempt. Now, one thing I could do is just keep dying until I get 500 and upgrade my bullet to whatever's next. But I don't want to do that. What were the flying Zerg in StarCraft called? 
I uh, like I forget what they're called, but they definitely have firing patterns. And if we learn them, I think this gets a lot easier. All right, we have upgraded to level five damage, which is fitting since we're going into wave five. Ooh, and it can one shot things now. Oh, thank the heavens above. Yeah, I think we can one shot the little banelings. Or so it seems. Things move <laughs> incredibly fast. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that might be the best thing in the game. Like the artillery barrage. It has saved my cookie so many times. Come on, we're almost there. My pace is almost dead. We have 16 health. And oh, ho, 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 ho. I was worried. So then I think the idea here is to keep going damage. I don't need to have fast attack speed if I can just keep killing them in one shot. I wonder what this gun would look like. You know, when you when you started out level one, I would imagine it's just like a classic Space Marine battle rifle. And then after that, like it, it would be like a minigun or something. Okay, we've got new enemies. They're giant spiky like they look like they've been hitting the gym a little bit too much. But then again, I guess if you're fighting in a war is too much ever too much. I haven't had to rely too much on my power ups other than the spike traps. My gun has been able to be pretty good, but I'm wondering if we're getting close to where I probably should. Oh, look at that. My spike traps are making almost like a grid wall. Can we do it? Is our gun so powerful that we don't need it? I really think it is. Just keep upgrading damage. That's the way to do this. All right, orbital laser strike. Thank you. We didn't even kill them. My gun is more powerful than that. Wow. Yeah, we know what to upgrade now. Damage. If I had four more dollars, I could get attack speed. So level seven on wave seven. Rather fitting. All right, so I'm having a two tap the little fast runner dudes and then the big swole guys i think take three or four shots but it's we are leaps and bounds better than when we first started this episode oh my goodness by the way guys i'm curious what other flash games or mobile games or even pc games that you think we should check out that are sort of similar to this you know where i can just keep evolving to super powerful weaponry doing well though Another little spiky trap. And then you know what? Just because we can. And this is a pretty big wave attack. Let's wait for him to get closer and launch the rockets. Okay, they're still managing to get through my base. We haven't upgraded that in a while. And I think that's the issue. <laughs> and we're starting to get more. Okay, reward and kill bonus. But I don't know what modifies these, so I'm not sure if I can gain it to get more money. All right, so we'll level eight for level eight. It is working. How powerful can we make this gun? We struggled before we start. Okay. That guy looks like the alien from aliens. <laughs> that sounds funny, doesn't it? He's the alien from aliens. Okay, they shoot acid too. Great. Everything around here shoots acid. And they growl when they do it. This is the first enemy that yells at me. I think they're taunting me. They're like, we're going to kick your butt, man. I'm going to use your small intestine as a necklace. And <laughs> I don't really like that. Artillery barrage. We're getting overwhelmed and I really want my small intestine to remain where it is. Like, how else am I supposed to digest cheeseburgers if I'm dead? No! We have one help! Survive! Can we- can we please? Oh my god, it's not over. It's never ogre. Alright, alright, this is it. No! <laughs> Level 10 damage. But it's 10 out of 100. Can this really get up to 100? Our objective here is to get to wave 10. And I do want to see what happens when I upgrade the bullet. So we're going to bite the bullet and do the grinding. Okay, new enemy. He's like the other ones, just bigger and stronger. Isn't that always the way with xenomorphic evolution, right? Is they're like, hey, this is that guy, just cooler looking and stronger. <laughs> yeah, call in the rockets. We're getting overwhelmed. I like to imagine there's just like some spaceship in orbit, just... You're know, like unleashing absolute missile domination. That would look so freaking cool. We've survived wave nine. I want to unlock the bullet, whatever that is. I have finally done it. We have enough to unlock the bullet upgrade. This better have been worth it because wait till you see what we're up against this level. Oh my goodness. You thought I couldn't get any worse. Okay, I now have two bullets. Oh my. Okay, this is incredibly powerful. 
I think that was definitely worth it. So I guess if we get the other one, it unlocks three bullets per? That seems like I've upgraded the damage of each individual bullet, but now that I'm firing two bullets at once, did, that's like twice as good. <laughs> that's a map. Like things aren't even getting across the screen anymore. This is so good. Now I should be able to easily stop projectiles and not only that, but hit the guy behind them. Look at that. I can almost one tap the flyers. Look at how strong we are now. Yes. I feel awfully powerful. Okay, so remember when I said hold on to your tukus? Wait till you see this thing. Look at this boss. And uh, wait till you see his ability. He basically charges up a super like dragon ball of acid. And you've got to shoot it before it hits you. Otherwise, you're dead. Yeah, my base is pretty much almost dead. No, I'm not ready to die. Okay. I just got to kill the flyers and I should... Oh, he, he attacks with melee too. Good. Good to know. That's awesome. I love that he does that because I don't know how to defend against that. We're giving it all she's got, Captain. But that thing's got giant tentacle spikies. Now that we got the power, I think we need the attack speed. We, we need to have a perfect run, I feel like. All right, nothing has hit our base yet, but man, have they gotten close. All right, I accidentally called it an artillery strike. <laughs> he says accidentally. The Banelings, man, that's what got through last time. No, no. Ouch. I think we are doing better, though. Yeah, we're definitely doing better than the last time. I think we'll do it. That thing looks so freaking cool. How do you, like, you can't dodge that, right? So you just have to absorb it and do enough damage. And man, he just likes, okay, what about a... An orbital laser doesn't even cut this guy in half. And I don't think like aiming for the head or the bottom does anything. Oh, we're down to 27 health, but we just managed to defeat him. Oh my God, 127 gold. So we could upgrade anything we want. Man, Nova Defender is hard. And if you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.